This building is a new building sponsored by Abere World Canada. And we are all here to celebrate the opening of the new facility. Well, this clinic is situated in the eastern part of the Maasai Mara. And of course, it's a very remote area. All the Maasai Mara is a, really a remote, underserviced area, really. It uh, doesn't get a lot of attention from the government. Uh, uh, the roads are terrible. Uh, it's subject to, you know, uh, floods and rains and uh, making transportation very difficult. When people get sick, uh, they have um, very few options. It, it is very, you know, uh, emotional to to have uh, the community so involved and, and, the, and the children entertaining in that. And it's, it's, uh, it is very satisfying uh, that they do such a, such a job to, to thank the donors uh, for projects. But I would like to take this opportunity to welcome the team from Canada. <laughs> We have 24 business people who will be traveling to Kenya. Their main purpose is to follow where their investment is and to see how they can help a better world by seeing they'll have more confidence in their giving. Telic was the first place that a better world uh, invested and created a, a, a larger facility, a more sophisticated facility. And we worked with Juma, who was the head officer there, and we asked him, where's, where's the next place that needs attention? And he basically tells us where to go and we go there. My name is Ajuma Samberap, and I come from Kenya, East Africa, Masai Mara. Uh, we brought Juma to Red Deer, Alberta, and in Lacombe to do some training with doctors who have been traveling over there, making a list of the needs that he has. So all this month he has been in training. They decided to give me an invitation to have some uh, training on the machine they want to put in our clinic, like uh, ultrasound machine and uh, x-ray. He, he had recommended that um, uh, th this area, because it was so remote, needed a clinic and, and there was a very small one here and, and uh, we came up and looked at the site and met with the community and, and agreed that it would be a good opportunity. Well right now it's bricks and mortar but it will be manned by clinical officers and so they will be doing deliveries here, they will have a, a, a solar panel system that will light the area to give them 24 hour uh, electricity. Uh, they will do mother-child health, so they will do vaccinations, well baby clinics, but they'll also do acute care medicine. Uh, many Maasai get hurt, especially when lion eats their cows. It's a weapon. When you see a lion coming towards their cows, and then you draw, you draw it, and then it will run away or come towards their cows. Yeah, they have a very unique culture, especially when it comes to diet. So basically their diet is meat, so cattle or, or goats, blood, which they bleed from the cattle, and milk which they mix, what they get from the cattle and they mix in with the blood. So basically that's all they eat, they don't eat any vegetables and their diet is very, very restricted. When we see people eating raw vegetables, it's crazy to us, you know. We believe vegetables are for goats. It's amazing they do as well as they do. However, because they take blood from the cattle, they're very prone to a condition called brucellosis, which is spread in cattle. It can spread to humans. We don't have electricity. We don't have good roads the way you have roads here. We don't have uh, houses the way you have here. We live in Manyatas. So it is just, uh, there is no comparison at all. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think it to look at it because it's a huge expanse, but there's a very concentrated population in this area. Well, I have uh, 42 siblings myself. My father was married to seven. And uh, any Maasai can get married even more than 10 wives as he can, as long as you have cows. 
So depending on the number of cows, if you have a thousand cows, you can marry as many as you can. In honor of the project that we were involved in, was uh, able to get a second wife today. <laughs> okay. Well, we've been involved with the Better World for for um, a number of years now, and so education and, and healthcare are are two things that are passionate uh, to my wife Kathy and and myself. And uh, we just think that a clinic like this. Uh, uh, is a very good investment uh, uh, in the, what it provides for, to the community. Look after this new clinic and it will look after you. The best thing to do is invite them to come along on the trip and so we've, we've actually, you know, Steve and Lorna Callcutt, uh, uh, Steve's on our board and, and you know, so it's, it, it's really great to have, invite them to a trip because that's the only way that you can explain it is, is where they can see it firsthand. The community people here are really, really happy when they actually receive this. It is a big gift to them, a very big one.